Hey friends, Jackie here from Interact with the ChatGPT prompt you will need to convert any article, PDF, or website into an assessment style quiz. Assessment style quizzes are used to show somebody how much they know about a certain topic. Take a look at this quiz template, how stressed out are you? Your quiz takers will answer a few questions about their situation. And at the end of the quiz, they're given a score and they're told what that means. I had to know my stress score for myself, so I took the quiz and I scored a six. It's nice for me to see this quiz result so that I remember I'm not quite perfect yet. <laughs> Constant improvement, people. Because that's what you want for your audience, right? Use a scored quiz to let someone evaluate where they are at right now, and they will very likely take your guidance and next steps to help get that perfect score. Alrighty, if you are ready to make your assessment style quiz, let's head over to ChatGPT and check out the prompt. So here's the ChatGPT prompt over here. I'm first asking AI to read this text and I'm adding a link to the PDF, the article, or the website I'm using to make the quiz off of. And the rest of the prompt goes into what an assessment style quiz is, the format of it, so AI can write that for us. And it sure does, right over here gives us a quiz title and a series of questions with answer scores as well as score ranges and three different outcomes, ranking someone as a beginner, intermediate, and expert on this topic of lead generation quizzes and opt-in forms. Next steps would be to transfer, copy and paste this information from ChatGPT into your Interact account so you can start building your quiz, customize anything that you would like, and start offering this to your audience so they can subscribe to your email list. Here are some ways that you can embellish or customize your assessment or scored quiz. ChatGPT doesn't always know the facts, but when it comes to your brand, you do. So you can add specific questions that you want to highlight in this quiz. For example, the blog article that I used to create this said that the average email rate opt-in converted at less than 2%. That's a really good statistic to call out because quizzes on average convert at 40%. I wanna be sure that this stands out to somebody who might be interested in using a lead magnet because of course, I want them to try a quiz. Another great way to embellish this quiz is by beefing out these quiz result pages. Here you're telling them why they're a beginner, but give them more. If they don't know a lot about opt-ins, where can they go get more information about that? Things you can include here are links to free resources, blog articles that go more into detail on these different concepts, possibly courses, webinars, or even paid offerings could fit here as well if the person landing on this result page would truly benefit from that service. So make sure you are adding a call to action to each result page. You can also embellish or beef out your result pages with things like a bio so people know more about you and that you're an authority in your field and even where else they can meet you online, social media platforms and things like that. In this placeholder right here, you're also able to add an image by searching for it. You can upload your own branded photos or even include a video link to a YouTube or Vimeo video so you can explain the results to your audience. A very personalized touch. That is how you can make, customize, and optimize an assessment quiz for your business. Share your quiz with us in the comments below, or if you don't have one yet, head over to ai.tryinteract.com and have a quiz built for you.